based on IBBridge, our third generation cloud technology. And on the right, I have a reference platform. Trust me, it's about the exactly same power as this one, so when we launch this product, it will fit to a nice looking ultrabook as this one. But I would like to show you the difference in performance between two. And this is a real benchmark to really try it out to show graphics performance. What you can really see that we've been extremely proud about Hyperbridge, which delivers almost double the performance of Sandy Bridge, but Hardware is going to be delivering yet another 2x the capability at the same power envelope. So, this is something you probably may be expecting Intel, therefore you do not applaud. But <laughs> <laughs> but delivering 2x generation by generation is not a small exercise. But this is not sufficient for us. As the world moved to more and more mobility, I've been challenging the team to go figure out and to fit to something which is, this is kind of a yoga-like, this is a concept platform, this is not a real platform, but this is how thin I'd like it to be, and I'd like to fit a Haswell into it. So the team came back and said, well, it's easier ask than done. That's why I have my job, which is about asking. <laughs> and they would like to compare the same core running at the same power. This is the third generation code technology. Comparing to a Haswell, fourth generation code technology, running at less than half the power. And see whether you could see the performance difference. So we're running about half the power, and you can see it is about the same performance. This is a technology demo, but next year we're going to fit the best performing graphics, processing, media capabilities on Mother Earth that will fit into extremely thin, extremely nice, extremely sleek form factor. So mobile computing is not limited to tiny, low-performing devices. Mobile computing, it's about not just mobile, it's also about computing. 